What's up guys welcome back to the channel in this particular video I will explain the problem maximum sum combination this is a really interesting problem based on priority queue guys so make sure you stay tuned till the end of the video starting with the problem statement so it says that you are given two integer array a and b of size n each a sum combination is made by adding one element from array a and another element from array b okay now our task is to return the maximum k valid sum combination from all the possible sum combinations and one note is given here that output array must be sorted in non increasing order so one example is given here guys let me explain with the example i have n equals to 2 this means that i have two arrays a and b of size 2 right so let me write them a equals to according to the example a is 3 and 2 and after this the array b consists of 1 4 right and what is the value of k so value of k is equal to 2 this means that we have to find maximum two valid sum combinations right and guys see when k is given uh, as 2 so the size of output is going to be equal to 2 right because we have to uh, return k values now let, first of all let's try out every possible combination so we can combine this 3 with this one so i will have the sum as 4 we can combine this 3 with uh, this 4 as well. So the sum is going to be 7, right? After this, we can uh, combine this 2 with this particular number, which is 1. So sum is 3. And we can combine this 2 with this 4. So the sum is going to be 6. These are the 4 combinations that we have. Out of these, what are the 2 maximum sum combinations? So the first is going to be 7. This is the maximum sum. And the second largest sum is going to be 6. So 7, 6 is going to be the output for this particular example. Now guys, I hope the problem statement is clear to you. Let's talk about the solution now. Okay, so I have written one example here and see guys after looking at the problem explanation the first approach that will come to your mind is quite similar to this one. We can try out every possible combination, right? So we can try out this 3 with this 1 and 4 then this 2 with this 1 and 4 like this we can try out every combination and these are the result of combinations, right? After this we can simply find k largest values. How we can find? So guys whenever it comes to finding k largest values or k smallest values or the kth largest element or the kth smallest element then we always use a priority queue priority queue what is the reason behind this so priority queue basically helps us in getting largest or smallest element in just log n time so this is called an optimization guys right so let me write q as well so priority queue is going to be used right so first approach that i have is here so this is the first approach guys and why I am calling this brute force approach because you can see that I am trying out every possible combination right. Guys trying out every possible combination is going to use two nested loops so n square is the term complexity due to these two loops and again adding an element in n priority queue is going to take log n time right. So the total time complexity here is going to be O of n square log n. So always keep in mind guys whenever we uh, try out every possible combination or every possible path then the approach is known as brute force approach. After this once we have got the element in priority queue then we can try out this possible uh, loop. This loop is basically going to give me k element right it is going to run k times or if our queue uh, priority queue becomes empty so it is going to uh, get every possible largest element from the uh, priority queue each time and going to add that to the answer so this is the first approach guys at last we can simply return the answer so let me write return answer here this is the first approach that we have right now we are going to optimize this particular approach let me talk about the second approach which is the which is the optimal approach guys and Somewhere in the middle, I will tell you what optimization we are doing in this particular approach. First of all, see here. We are given this particular example, right? First of all, what we can do is we can simply sort these two arrays, guys. And there's a reason why I'm sorting these arrays. First of all, let me write the values. I have 2, 3 and 6 for the array A. And then for array B, I have 1, 4 and 5. Now guys, whenever we have sorted arrays, then one thing is sure that last element is going to be the largest element, then second last ele element is going to be the second largest element and so on, right? So guys, we know that this particular element is going to be the largest element. So what we can do is we can simply try out combining every possible value in the array A with this particular value because we know this is the largest value. So when we do this, what we will get is we will get a uh, 2 plus 5, first 2 plus 5 which is 7, 
then we will get 3 plus 5 which is 8 then we will get 6 plus 5 which is nothing but 11 right and guys while writing them always remember one thing that we are combining these elements with the last index which is the second index for this array right 0 1 2 after this guys we have to store these values in the priority queue because priority queue is going to give me uh, the maximum element in an optimal way so i will make a priority queue and i will add all these combinations so let me write the pseudo code in parallel as well guys so first of all i am going to sort the arrays right a dot sort and then i will do b dot sort after sorting the arrays i will create a priority queue priority queue right and this priority queue is named as pq after this i will make a list of answer so why i need a list guys you can see again uh, whenever our we are given a value k so guys we have to return uh, a list of size k right because we have to return k values so that's why i'm making a list so now okay k is also given here as 2 so guys i will simply make a list as well now first task is to uh, store the combination of all these values with this particular value in b right so i will say that okay for i equals to 0 then i smaller than n then i plus plus after this i will simply store uh, like pq dot add pq dot add simply sum right so i will say that a of i a of i plus b of this element is constant which is last element right b of n minus 1 along with this guys i want to store this index as well so that it doesn't get lost like uh, i'm going to store some like some like this uh, which is 7 comma 2 then i have 8 comma 2 then i have 11 comma 2 where the first value is the sum and second value is the index of element b right of array b so i'm going to store the index as well which is currently n minus 1 right so guys this is how i can store these values like this so this is the visual representation of the priority queue after this we can simply get the values from priority queue because our task is to get k values right so i'll say that okay while my pq is not empty pq is not empty and our k values are not done yet right k minus minus is greater than zero so this is something that i will do and inside this guys i will extract pair one by one so i will first get this pair because this pair has a maximum sum right and this is how priority queue works guys so i'll say that okay give me the maximum pair so i'll say that okay pair is simply equal to pq dot uh, pole right pq dot pole and this pair contains two values the first one is sum so sum equals to pair dot sum and then we have a uh, like okay index index equal to pair dot index right guys i am just writing the pseudo code this is not the exact implementation so it doesn't get confused with pseudo code and the implementation right i will definitely show you the implementation in every possible language so for now just see here guys now you will raise a question you will say that hey you are combining this particular uh, like all the numbers from array a with this number only right so why you are not trying out the uh, combining these numbers with this particular number because there is a possibility that, that i can get maximum sum by combining these elements with this number as well right so there's a possibility so why i'm not trying out let me explain guys i will definitely try out combining these number with this particular element as well but before that always remember one thing that if this is the maximum number so these two are the sum of these two number because this is the maximum of array one and this is the maximum of array two so the sum of these two is going to be the maximum right i will only uh, add more values whenever required so if not required i will not add let me explain how it works so first of all i am going to pull one value and now i know that sum is going to be the maximum so i'll say that answer dot add sum right answer dot add sum and guys now i will get in my answer array i will get 11 as the answer and now this value is removed from the priority queue right after this guys now you can see that i have the index as 2 right so i will try out i will try out combining every value with 2 minus 1 the, which is the previous index of this particular index so, so 2 minus 1 is 1 so now i will try out combining all values with this particular value right so how i can do this first of all i will simply do one thing i am talking about this particular combination right so when i talk about this particular combination guys so i will get this particular a of i so i have 6 plus 5 so if i do minus 5 then i can simply get 6 this means that if i have sum and if i do 
minus b of index then i can simply get the value of a right after this i can simply add b of index minus 1 so what this will do is this will first get the value 6 and then add 4 to that particular value right so when i do this i will first check if my index minus 1 is greater than equal to 0 right because index minus 1 can go out of bound as well when it becomes minus 1 so guys i have to make sure that this condition is true after this i'll say that pq dot add pq dot add what value i have to add i have to add sum minus b of index then i will do okay plus b of index minus 1 after this guys see pq always stores a pair pq stores a pair you can see that pq stores a pair so now i will uh, in the second value which is showing the index i will store this value 1 right so i'll store index uh, index minus 1 this is what i will do guys and now one new pair will be inserted in this priority queue which is nothing but 10 comma 1 isn't it guys you can see that 6 plus 4 is equal to 10 and now when i fetch the value again from this particular loop so what value i will get i will get simply 10 so now i have 11 comma 10 in the priority queue after this 10 is also removed but i have to add all the values due to sum as well so see i will simply add this 6 with this particular one right and this way i will get 7 comma 0 in the priority queue and now you can see that i have three values right so guys this is how i'm going to move this is how I'm going to move and at last I will have every possible value. So what is the time complexity of this particular approach? So n log n for this particular uh, loop, right? And for this particular loop, again, I have because this is sorting, right? So I have n log n as the time complexity. And when we say n log n, n, log n then this is basically talking about either merge sort or the quick sort. And both take some recursive space as well. So n log n is going to be the recursive space right so guys this is about the time complexity and space complexity and now talking about okay so let me write the time complexity but we are left with this loop so this loop runs k time and inside this we have the add operation and the remove operation as well so this is log n so the total complexity of this loop is going to be o of k log n so the exact time complexity will be o of max of either n log n or k log n this is about the time complexity and space complexity is going to be a uh, o of n log n right so guys now i hope everything is clear to you about this particular approach see why i am calling this an optimization because you can see that we are not trying out every possible combination we are avoiding some values right like you can see that we are avoiding combining these 2 and 3 with this particular number 4 right so guys, this is how we move now let me quickly show you the code so this is the code that we have this is the code in c++ and, and let me show you the code in java and python as well guys so this is the code in java and python now you can see that first of all i am sorting the array then i am using a priority queue which has a pair type right after this i am first adding the value uh, by combining them with this particular value and then i am combining other combination as well right so guys this is how i can simply get my answer and this is the code in java and this is the implementation in python right in python we use a heap queue guys and there is no any way to get uh, like to define a customized comparable or comparator in python so that's why i am inserting value by doing minus here right so that i can get every value in descending order so this is about the python code now i think everything is clear to you thank you